Hello everyone, it's Kathy and you're back with me here on my YouTube channel, Kathy's Random Acts of Stampin'. As many of you know, I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I'm located here in the beautiful state of North Carolina, but I can take care of you if you are not currently working with a demonstrator and you're interested in learning more about uh, Stamping Up or if you just want to purchase any of the products that you see me use today or in any of my videos, uh, please reach out to me. I would love to have the opportunity to earn your business, uh, offer you some great incentives for shopping with me, and uh, and really just get to know you and become uh, uh, friends. That's what it's all about. Stampin' um, started out as a business that got ladies together on a common ground, and that was paper crafting and stamping. So, with all that being said, I do want to welcome you to my channel and I want to tell you today's video is not going to be a tutorial. This is going to be more like a, um, a preview because we have this beautiful catalog. It is like our, they call it the mini catalog, but we always like to call it our, I'm going to zoom out just a bit so we can get everything in here. Um, I like to call this our spring spring and summer catalog. Uh, we have too many catalogs that come out a year and uh, so this is the um, second one this year and this one actually starts in January. January the 4th this catalog will go live along with the celebration and you know I didn't pull a celebration. It really doesn't matter because you here's the celebration. Um, you can't you, I can't open this on on camera. Um, the catalog is not allowed to be seen except the front of it um, until it launches and it goes live on January the 4th. But I'm as a demonstrator get to order some of the products a little early and I can preview them here for you. So the first one that I want to preview We'll get to celebration in a little bit, but the first collection, and I'm going to break it down because you do not have to buy the full collection. You can you can opt to get any of these items by themselves or together, and I'm going to explain how that works. This is the Sweet Talk Suite, and a suite it mean, just simply means a suite or a collection means everything in that particular bundle. So let me start out by saying you get your stamp set and your dies. Uh, this is a beautiful photopolymer stamp. You can see I haven't even put my stamps on the, um, the back of this yet. They're still in the plastic because I haven't used any of this yet. This is such a cute little stamp set. All of these different little hearts. And you remember the little conversation hearts we used to get as kids and they would have that little message on it. This um, stamp set is kind of going back to that sort of thing with the little messages. Um, it's just I think it's just an adorable, very simple, but adorable stamp set. And you know, sometimes simplicity is the best. But we have these dies, and I'm going to go ahead and open the dies. I have not opened these, so I have not looked at them either. Uh, I did get my pre-order, but I was early, but I was so busy trying to get the last minute Christmas items out to y'all so that everybody could create their lovely little masterpiece, you know, in time for Christmas. So I didn't get a chance to open these or play with these or anything like that. And I am having difficult. There we go. I couldn't get a hold of it for whatever reason, and I couldn't get it out of the, the cellophane. Okay. In these dies, and like I said, I haven't looked at them, so I'm not really sure what I'm even going to open here. But, oh, they're so cute. Look at that. I can't wait to play with these. And I suggest anytime you get a set of dies, take them out and cut them. Just cut them on plain paper. And it will give you an idea of how it cuts and how it works. Because like this one, it looks like it might be a little envelope, but I'm not sure until I cut it. So I'm, I'm going to take these out and play with them, and I'll be all ready after Christmas to come back and show you some projects that I'm going to make using all of these beautiful um, items. So if you, if you didn't want the entire suite, say you just wanted the stamp set, you could buy just the stamp set. But anytime that you bundle a stamp and a die together, 
you're going to save 10% over buying them separate. Uh, so if you like the dies um, or if you like the stamp set and you're kind of on the fence, I would suggest to go ahead and get them get them both and save that 10 percent because what's going to happen if you buy the stamps and then down the road you say oh i wish i'd have gotten those dies what's going to happen you're going to order the dies and you're going to lose that 10 percent savings okay moving right along here is this beautiful uh 12 by 12 paper pack it is simply gorgeous and again there's the little hearts with the message on them and look at that on the back i love these spring colors Look at that one. Oh, love it. This definitely is right up my alley. And you always have something. I'm sorry about my dog. My, my, my trash truck just went up the road. Toby. He always gets bent out of shape every time trucks go up and down the road. And like I told y'all in the last video, I think he's going to end up looking like um, the dog from Steel Magnolias because we have construction going on. It's driving him crazy. This piece right here is absolutely gorgeous look at the little candies oh and the little um lollipop suckers the, the little lollipops that look like hearts that is so stinking cute then again on the back side you have that neutral um that's the same thing and then this is all hearts oh look at that beautiful stripe i love that stamping up always does that it gives you um, two-sided paper and you get two sheets of each one so you could pretty much say you have one sheet of each design because if you turn them over you that's what you got I love this one too I love the brightness that little um, dab of yellow and the greens in with the reds and the pinks just really sets that off and on the back again you have that neutral and this one is so cute look at that and remember, you can always cut the images out of this. Now, this one has hearts on both sides, but I love that. So, so pretty. Again, Stampin' Up! does a wonderful job with their paper. And I'm going to slip it back in the sleeve. And if you're wondering where I get these sleeves from, I get them from uh, Stampin' Storage. They are the perfect way to store your paper. And as you cut paper, you can just put your scraps right down in here. They all stay together. And it's just, for me, this is a wonderful way for me to store my paper. All right, you also, in that, you get these beautiful gems. And I don't know if the camera is even going to... Let's take it out of the cellophane. And y'all know how I like to do this. I like to cut... Oh, I've already done it. Okay. I like to cut them up the edge. I'm going to see if those will sparkle. Yeah, there they go. They're iridescent, and they are simply gorgeous. And you get that in the suite as well. You also get this beautiful red um, faux linen um, ribbon. And this stuff is so supple and so easy to work with. I can imagine doing bows with this is going to be a breeze. So I'm just going to tie a simple little loop bow just to see how well it ties. Oh, so easy to work with. And it's, it's very pliable, very soft. And just very, very easy to, to work with. And look at that. That that just tied beautifully. I thought that it would because I can usually feel a ribbon and tell if it's going to, you know, be a good ribbon to work with. This is absolutely stunning. You also get an embossing folder in this suite. And this one is called the Gingham Embossing Folder. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Again, I hadn't opened any of this stuff. So I'm kind of seeing it for the first time as well as y'all are. And sometimes that can be fun, don't you think? Oh, I love that. Look at that gingham. Now this isn't a 3D folder. This is just a standard. But I think it's going to give, it's going to lend itself to some beautiful texture. I don't know if you're seeing that, but it's, it's pretty. I really like it. All right, that's our embossing folder. And you get one more thing. You get these little, um, sweet little boxes. And Stampin' Up! always has um, the cutest little boxes that are so easy to put together. So say you wanted to pick up some of those little conversation hearts. This would be the perfect little box. And you can decorate it and put it together. And Stampin' Up! does all the work for you. All the cut lines are, are made. The score lines are in. 
they're so simple to put together you don't even need instructions you just basically bend and fold all of your pieces just like that and then you pull off your sticky pieces and you glue the sides together so it would go together like that you glue that in and then all you have to do once you do that is fold this down fold that there and tuck it in i'm not going to make this one yet but that just goes to show how quick and easy you can make one of these cute little boxes and put i mean you could put all kinds of things in that you know a pair of earrings oh my goodness um a, br a bracelet there is just a multitude of things that you could use these boxes for. And the great thing about it, you can decorate them and use your designer series paper to do that. Or you can use the stamps and, or the dies and decorate. So that's that sweet. And you get all of this, I believe it's 86, 8625. And you get this entire collection. I think it's a steal um, because the bundle itself is 42. No, no, Toby. No, no. Come, come back. Sorry. <laughs> um, the stamps and the dies are $42.50, I believe. $42.25. And then you get all of this other stuff. This is where your savings is. Is in the 10% off of this. Everything, Toby, Toby. Everything else is the same price. So... This might be something that you would be interested in picking up. I'll have all the information listed below. I will list the number for the suite, which is all of it. And then I will list the number individually for the stamps, the dies, the bundle, and then each one of the individual items. So that will be, all of that will be in the description below. So go ahead and make your wish list and um, be ready when, um, be ready when uh, January the 4th rolls around and you can place your order for your favorite um, suite or stamps or dies or paper. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. And the next thing that I want to show you is this Love and Happiness and the Bouquet of Love Dies. Now, this is a three-part bundle. Um, when you bundle this, you get the dies and the embossing folder. Um, the stamp stands alone, but if you only wanted the dies, you would get the dies and this embossing folder. And this is known as a hybrid embossing folder, and all that means is there's double duty. You can literally lay the heart inside of your die, and they're making more and more of these, and I love it. You can lay this right in here, and you can feel it when it, when it goes in. And when you cut this out, it's going to emboss all around it and cut that heart out for you. So that's why they call this a hybrid. I love this. I think it's so gorgeous. I can't wait to play with this too. Um, so cute. And this stamp set is, ba is just sentiments. And don't we always need a really good all-occasion uh, sentiment celebrating your anniversary? You two have something really special. Each other. Congratulations. A wonderful marriage is the collection of many small happy moments. Here's to another year of love, laughter, and happy ever after. Happy wedding day, Valentine's greetings, wedding wishes, to the one I love, um, to the cutest couple ever, um, for my wife, happy Valentine's day friend, for my husband, you're engaged, um, how is Here's to love and happiness. Happy anniversary, my love, and congratulations. So you have a lot of love and happiness sentiments in here, which I think is so great. And not only that, when you bundle this, you're going to get these cute little dies, and you've got hearts and flowers, which, I mean, who doesn't love hearts and flowers? And these hearts are stitched, which makes it so stinking cute. And you can layer these up, and you also have these little flowers that you can actually um, kind of put on top of each other. And it gives you uh, two little label dies that you can use for any of these sentiments. So these sentiments will fit inside of these, whether it's the bigger one or the smaller one. So if you just wanted to do some of these little small ones like that, you've got a die that will cut those out for you to put on your card. Oh, and I, I, I say this over and over, and you're probably sick and tired of hearing me say it, but it is true. Stampin' Up thinks of everything. So I love the fact that when they come out with a new stamp, 
they have dot nine times out of ten they have a beautiful set of dies that coordinate with it and work so well with the sentiments and everything that's in that stamp so and again don't forget this is a hybrid so it does come with the embossing folder another great set that you will not be disappointed with so let's move on to our next one so now we have another bundle and this one is called gum gumball greeting uh, bundle and the gumball greetings bundle again you have your stamp set and these are again our cling stamps and I have put these on to my uh, backing but I, I decided this time to leave this one on my stamps just to protect them and I think if you wanted to you might know it won't quite fit I wish they would make those where they would fit into here and it would be a great place to put your dies. Now if you wanted to, you could put your dies in um, like this and just, you know, do away with that. You could very easily put your dies inside of this and lay them right here and that way you'd have everything together. And I've heard some people say they do that. I like keeping my dies separate because there may, be a, there may come a time where I want to use my dies, but I really don't want to use the stamp set or vice versa. So in those cases, that's when I like my dies um, filed where I can look and see exactly what dies I have. Now these dies do coordinate very well with the stamp set, but you can also use these as standalone. And the stamp set is a beautiful uh, gumball machine that you can make. And you can put all these little candies inside of it. You can put greetings on it. You've got uh, some lines here where you can make a ledge for it to sit. But you also got some pieces in here. And again, I haven't played with this. So I really can't um, say exactly what each die does because I haven't gotten to it yet. But I got a feeling that right there would be beautiful done on silver because it looks like it would be mostly embossing and I think that would be so cute. But you you could sit and play with this for hours and come up with different things. But I thought for a kid or even for an adult, you know, it's got a happy Valentine's Day on it. May your days uh, be may your days be filled with all the best things. Um, I choose you, which choose as you know gumball <laughs> wishing you the sweetest day ever i think this is so stinking cute and again like i said you get all these little candies you get the hearts and you get the gumballs so you can stamp that but you also get this little small gumball machine that stamps individually all by itself which i think is stinking cute and you do have a die for that there's the die right there that will cut that out but you also have a die that will cut this out and this and this and this so there's so many elements to this um, gumball machine that I think this is going to be so much fun I can't wait to sit and play with this one as well so let's move on to our next item now we have the beautiful flowering field um, uh, suite and this suite is a little more expensive it comes in at $126.75 but the reason for that, you are getting um, two stamp sets and two dies in the suite. So the first one is the tulip, the flowering tulips, and look at these beautiful dies that comes with these tulips. Now who doesn't love a tulip die? Uh, I think these are absolutely gorgeous. There's a little sentiment that could be used with a small circle die. Uh, if you have the circle dies or even a punch that would punch those out. So I think these are just absolutely adorable. You get the different stems that you can cut out. You got the flowers. You got the layering parts of your tulip, which will make it so, so pretty. Um, and you get some beautiful sentiments on here. So that's, that's one bundle that comes in this suite, but you also get another one. This is called Tulip Fields, and you get a windmill, and you get these little flowering um, designs that actually can make a path up to the windmill, which I think is absolutely stunning. Uh, these are photopolymer, and these are so these are just beautiful dyes. And these right here uh, depict a field of flowers. So when you stamp these out, you have like a field of flowers, and you can point them toward your windmill. It is absolutely gorgeous. But say you don't want to stamp your windmill, you want to build it. 
look at these dies. I mean, these dies are just gorgeous. You get the tree that's right here that you can stamp and then cut out. Um, you've got your little windmill that you can stamp and cut out, but then you can also make a big windmill with this. I think it's so stinking cute the way they made these dies to work together. And there's your body of your windmill. So there are ample amounts of, of dies in this set. So worth the money because you get so many items. Uh, again, I, I sound like a broken record, but I have not had a chance to play with any of these, but I plan on getting on it. And you also get this beautiful ribbon, and this ribbon is, let me, here we go. This ribbon is called Window Pane Checked Ribbon. And I'm going to take the uh, plastic off of this so I can unravel a piece of it. See if I can undo this. I always have difficulty with the ribbon. What I try to do is use, well, this will work, I think. I try to get something that I can pick up, just a tiny little piece. There we go, and then I just pop it like that. To me, that's the easiest way for me to get the ribbon undone. Oh, this feels good too. This has a really nice feel to it. It looks like you could tie it and it would hold its shape very well. I love this. And look at that beautiful evening evergreen. This is absolutely a beautiful ribbon that goes with this suite. So you also get these little butterfly um, brass gems. They call them um, brushed brass butterflies. They are simply adorable. And look how they catch the light. Ah, beautiful. But look at the paper. I think this paper steals the show. It is a beautiful pack of paper. And I don't know whether I put this every other piece. Nope, I didn't. So you get two like that and two like that. Again, like I said, this is stamping up at its best. It will always give you um, a dedicated side for the pattern on one side and then you'll get something very neutral on the other side oh isn't that gorgeous see what i mean it's always going to be and i love that look that that washed look this one and then that one those clouds aren't they this would be so pretty to put in the background and build that windmill and maybe use a wood texture paper oh how stunning that would be look at the tulips we got tulips for days. I mean, this is just, and then again, a neutral and tulips and a neutral. Love this pack of paper. I think it's stunning. So that, that suite is quite extensive for the fact that you get two dies and two stamp sets plus ribbon embellishments and the paper. So again, a great bundle. Uh, if you're interested. And like I said, I'll have everything listed below. I'll have the bundle and then I'll have each individual item listed and I will list them as I put them out so that if you want to go real quick and see what it is, uh, you can go there and check on it. And if I can, I might even put prices beside of it or you can just click on it or go to my website and, and paste that number in and it will pop up and give you exactly what the, the cost is. So now let's move on to our next one. And now we have another bundle and this is not a stamp and die but rather a stamp and a punch. This one's called Hello Ladybug and then this punch is called the Ladybug Builder. And with this you get the body and the little wings and they will punch out this and this and you've got flowers and you've got the background where you can stamp him out in black and then you can do this in red and put it on his body two-step stamping at its best beautiful leaf for him to sit on and here is what that stamp set looks like is that not the cutest thing ever uh, I love this. I love the wings. You can do those and then go back and stamp the little dots in a different color. Such a cute stamp set. You've got a big flower here. You've got some little ditties to go in the middle of your flower. Um, just a really cute and fun uh, stamp set and punch. So if you love punches, you're going to want to grab this up. And this bundle is $32.25. 
I mean, that is a good price for a stamp, I mean, a stamp set and a punch. So, think about that one because that seems to be a really, really super good price on that one. So, let's move on to our next one. And now we have Easter Friends, and this is just a stamp set, but look at how cute this stamp set is. I love it. You've got this little thing, a sprig of, gla of grass where you can put your animals in it. Look at that little duck. He looks so happy. You got a little chickadee, and then look at the little floppy eared bunny. This would make a cute kids card. This would make a beautiful Easter card or just a friendship card. And you've got some beautiful sentiments at well as well. And this is a um a cling stamp set and as you can see I haven't even taken it out of the package when you get your stamps they will be on a piece like this I have a tutorial over on my um, ch on my channel if you go in my channel and then type a search for I didn't know I needed to know that or either check on the check on the playlist and under the the title of I didn't know I needed to know that you will find a, a, a video that is titled applying your um, your stickers to your cling stamps and this is the easiest way it's not the stamping up way but I found it to work so good for me and basically I pull the entire sticker off of this paper not just the backer I pull I'll pull the whole thing off let me give y'all a really quick tutorial I pull the whole thing off and stick it on my hand just to get a little of that stickiness off and then I will peel back one corner of my on each side of my backer that's on the little um, stamp itself or this whatever the the little decal that's what I was trying to say and I was having all kinds of difficulty all right let me grab a stamp block and then what I do on a clean stamp block I will lay this down don't press it real hard just very lightly and peel these off Just like that put that in the trash then you want to pop out your little duck I thought this might be a good time for me to show y'all how to do that and what I do you make sure you take off the paper backing off of the back of your your piece and it should look like a piece of foam but it has a little cling to it but usually not enough then I turn my duck over and then I can I can just kind of hover over top of my stamp and see exactly where I need to put that on. Once I get it lined up, I press it down and peel it off. And there is a perfectly um, done uh, stamp. And then when I get ready to put these back in, I just go back, I keep this because it lets me know that I've got all my dies back in place. And I just stick it back on like that. And I'll put it back here. And then I use this piece of paper to cover my dies with because then I can fit that right over top of where he sits and I don't have to worry about him sticking to anything because this is um, like a almost like a wax paper so it works perfect to sit that back over top of him just like that so that's the Easter Friends um, stamp set and it is a standalone stamp set so there's no dies or punch or anything with that so let's grab our next item here we go. Here's another absolutely beautiful um, bundle. And this is called the Garden Greenhouse Bundle. And you get the stamp set. It's a photopolymer. This is a nice size. This is what the stamps look like. I haven't put them on here yet. They're still in the plastic. But that's what they look like. Aren't they gorgeous? And then the die, I mean the dies are absolutely wonderful you can uh, actually cut that greenhouse out you can stamp it and use the outline to, to stamp it out, I mean to punch it out or cut it out and then look at all these greeneries this piece right here will cut this out you've got um, you've got your different flowers that will cut I think that one will cut this one yeah that that will cut that one right there so and this will cut that little sprig of flower 
well, I mean, of brass. It is just simply adorable. And I have never seen a stamp set like this and or a die set like this. So I am looking so forward to playing with this one as well. So um, be on the lookout because we're going to have some fun stuff coming. Y'all know I love plants. I've always, I've always wanted a greenhouse, but I don't have one. Uh, I would love to have an herb garden that, that I could get fresh herbs from all the time. That would be a dream come true but you know you almost need a, a greenhouse or you need a temperature within your house and you need lighting and things like that in order to grow so let's go ahead and grab our next one so now we have the flowering rain boots bundle and this is so cute who doesn't love these little uh, rain boots i mean they are all the rage look at that cute flower pot this is a distinctive uh, stamp so when you stamp this it's going to give you the shadowing for you so say you wanted to uh, do those in a real pretty pink what would be so gorgeous is to do them in pink and then go back and put some polka dots on them. Uh, I mean, so many different things. You could go back with a little star from another stamp set and put that on it. So many different ways you could decorate. You could let flowers... You could have flowers growing out of these, which I think would be adorable. Just, I mean, it's it's endless. And then the the dyes, oh my heavens! You've got the the water can, you got the flower pot, you got this one that will cut this out. You got the the boots, the little tulip spray, and the the sprig of um the stems for the tulips because you can stamp these and then stamp this over it and have a whole bouquet of tulips which is so cute uh, and this I, I haven't done this yet but it looks like this will punch one whole piece I'm not I mean or cut one whole piece we'll see because I definitely have to get in here and play with these all right so that's the rain boot bundle and this one is a $49.50 for the stamp and the dies. Again, I cannot stress to you the quality of these stamps and dies are far better than anything you could imagine. I love the quality uh, of the stamping up products. I haven't been disappointed with too much of anything. And if you buy something from Stampin' Up, there's a toll-free number you can call to get help. Uh, they will resolve any of your issues and they are wonderful to talk to. Uh, if you have never talked to the people at Stamping Up, you are in for a treat if you ever have to call them. Okay, let's move on to our next one. All right, now we have Delilah Day's bundle and this and the detailed Delilah dies. These are so pretty. This is a photopolymer, um, I'm sorry, a cling stamp set. And again, I have not um, applied my labels yet. But look at this. It is so pretty. I love the fact that you can stamp this with flowers on the corner and then stamp a sentiment inside of it. I love, love, love that. So this is our stamp set. And it is beautiful. I love the sentiments on here and I love what they did with the with the print and the script and the script I love that I love when you mix the font I think it's so pretty to an awesome woman uh, you made my day thank you for your kindness sending you lots of love you are uh, beyond incredible and look at these um, dahlias they are gorgeous but now let's look at the dyes because you know the dyes are always so pretty Okay, look at that background. You get one whole piece that is a background. This could stand alone, but you could do a piece and have an underlay under it of beautiful paper. You wouldn't have to do anything to this, but then you could also stamp your, your um, dahlias and put those on top of this, which would be gorgeous. And you got these little flowers, and then you've got the little flowers here, right there. And see, so it cuts all three of those at one time. Such a stinking cute, um, stamp and die set. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that is such a cute one. And this one, I'm trying to give y'all prices. This one is $55.75. I'm trying to keep that catalog out of the, um, picture because... 
I'm not supposed to show that and I don't want to get in uh, hot water with stamping up so um, but you know what if you like being the first to see new products um, think about joining Stampin' Up. You can come in as a hobbyist, be your own best customer, get your discount, get your kit. Um, there will be some real uh, goodies coming up in January, incentives to join. So think about it. And who knows, you may end up selling this stuff like I did. I had no intentions of making this a business when I first signed up. My intentions was to get this trimmer. That was my only intentions. I wanted this trimmer. So a very, very dear friend of mine talked me into signing up. She said, listen, if you got, if you want any, if you see that you've got um, $125 worth of stuff in your cart that you want, you can get all of that for $99 and not have to pay shipping. And all you gotta do is sign up. So I said, oh, well, let me, let me try it. So I did. And I love stamping up. I love everything about it. You cannot judge a product until you try it. And I had done that. I had judged stamping up without giving it a try. So let's go ahead and move to our next item. Now I have what um, flowering flowers. This is a standalone stamp set. It does not come with dyes or anything. But look how beautiful this is. Look at these fonts. Uh, I'm a sucker for a font. I, I really am. And I love the softness. And this is another distinctive uh, stamp set. And when I say distinctive, it's disinctive. Um, when you stamp one of these down, you're gonna get the highlighted color. And if you notice, I did put the stickers on this one because I just love it. <laughs> I can't wait to play with this. I've got, I'm always sending out thank you cards. So I think I'm gonna make some note cards using this. And I've got some ideas on how I wanna do it. So when I get ready to do that one, I will definitely record it and bring it to y'all so you can see the versatility of, flower, of flowing flowers. I love it, love it, love it. And I believe the stamp set is, um, $25. Not bad for a stamp set of this quality. If you ever use the um, the cling stamps from Stamping Up, you will be absolutely in love with them. They do a wonderful job. So let's move to our next product. This right here is the Amazing Silhouette Bundle. This caught my eye because I love that watercolor wash behind an image. So what you're gonna do when you stamp this, say you want to stamp this in blue. Your tree is gonna stay white, but that background is gonna be a wash of blue. And the same thing here, whatever color, this right here would be gorgeous in a yellow because your butterfly would look like, or even if you did it in a couple of colors, what if you put down a color that would coordinate with that, say maybe orange and the pumpkin pie, and did your ink blending on your card, just a nice little circle, and then punch this into, I mean, stamp this in Daffodil Delight. I think it would be stunning. So I can't wait to play with this and see what it does. This again is a photopolymer stamp, one I haven't put together yet. Uh, not photopolymer, cling, I'm so sorry. This is a cling stamp set and I love, love, love. Now there's only three images on here. But look at the dies. The dies are words. I love word dies. So you get thanks, and you get another thanks, and you get, I'm not sure what that one is. These will actually go inside of these, so you can do one in one color, and then overlay it inside that, like that. And this one does the same thing. And I'm not sure what this one says. I'm gonna have to investigate this. I think it's saying birthday, and this is all in you. Okay, well I'll definitely have to play with this one to see exactly where, where it's going. But I love word dies because it's a great way to put a sentiment on your card. Just so easy and it always looks so elegant to have word dies on your, on your cards and your projects. So I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm gonna put this back on here, like that, making sure everything's lined back up. And then, so 
slide that in and let's move to our next product. And now we have yet another suite. So this is an entire collection and this one's called New Horizons and it has on the horizon um, uh, stamp set and these are also cling stamps and I haven't put the labels on these either um, but I have labeled what dies go with the stamp set and the, and the dies and also labeled the stamp set on the back of the dies. That helps me to keep everything together so that when I pull these I will know which one goes with which. And look at this little hand um, landscape. You've got houses, you've got trees, you've got um, mountains and the detail and you've got hills and slopes and you've got these beautiful little fences. This stamp set is going to be and dies are going to be so much fun to work with and I love the fact that you have a wood grain stamp. You could do some beautiful background stuff with that. Also with this and look at the little range of trees right there. We even have some birds to fly over. So this is just such a cute cute suite and I love it. It also comes with um, two rolls of cotton ribbon and it's a combo pack. Anytime you get two rolls of ribbon, it's always nice. And this is linen, so it's going to be very easy to work with. Um, and you get this very soft uh, petal pink and a misty moonlight. I believe this is misty moonlight. Um, I want to say that it is. It doesn't say on here. It just says it's a combo, but I think it would pair very nicely with the misty moonlight. And this may be even blushing broad, maybe blushing broad more so than um, the petal pink. Yeah, I think that's more blushing broad. But it's beautiful. And then you get these little pebble, um, these are pebbled uh, enamel shapes. They are so pretty and they're different. They actually look like gems that you would get out of the uh, ground. And I think that's the point behind this um, horizon. And it comes with a 6x6 paper pack. And this paper is stunning. It's basically setting you up. And you get four sheets of each design. So I'm going to go through and show you each of the four. There's one. And two. Look how pretty this is. I mean, this is just a gorgeous pack of paper by itself. And you don't have to buy it in the suite. You can buy each thing individually. But I always love the suites because then I get everything that coordinates with it. And look at these colors. Oh, my heavens. They are stunning. Stunning, stunning colors. I can see doing backgrounds with these. They will be so beautiful. And then here's an another one. Like I said, you get four sheets of each design, which is fantastic because it gives you a lot of different colors to work with. This actually looks like it's been watercolored and everybody loves um, that. Look at these little houses. It looks like a little village back there in the background with a beautiful horizon of sky. I love this paper and this is the first time I've actually taken it out and looked at it so this has been a treat for me as well um, you know at, at Christmas we're so busy we don't always take the time and I've always been one that loves to open my stuff when I first get it and look at it but I just have not had the time with Christmas so I'm sure y'all all understand that so that's that beautiful pack of paper and that's, that is called New Horizons, and it's not a bad price for all of this. It's $78.25, um, which is not bad. So let's go ahead and move on to our next product. So let's move this out of the way. And the next thing I have is a bundle, and this is just your, your stamps and your dies. And this is called um, the Grassy Grove Bundle. This is going to make a stunning, stunning card. But look at this die right here. This die cuts this entire background for your trees. And then can you see the deer in here? Maybe one behind the tree and one, in, one out in front. Oh, the, the possibilities with this um, die is endless. And then you have the dies that cut, you have those. But then you also have the ones under here that do your mountain range, 
This does your clumps, uh, your little wildflowers. This will cut your trees that you stamp there, your deer. And then you've got some little spriggies that you can add to just embellish everything. Absolutely love, love, love this die set. And the stamps. I want to show you the stamps because I always like to make sure that you know what kind of stamps they are. These are another set that are the uh, cling stamps, which these are just gorgeous. Look at that. I am going to have fun playing with these. I can't wait. <laughs> I've got a lot of playing to do, y'all, to bring y'all all these goodies. I just, I am just totally beside myself. So let's move on to our next set. Now we have just a standalone stamp set. This is so pretty. Happy and heartfelt. It says, yay for love, lucky me, no matter what, being awesome is just your thing. Congratulations, happy dad day, happy mom day. We have to celebrate this. Heck yeah. Hello baby, thank you, you matter to me. I love you, I have you, all day your way. This was just such a fun, fun, fun um, sentiment stamp set that I could not help myself. I had to have it. I think this is one that you will turn to over and over because we're always looking for sentiments. And this stamp set is $24, but look how many sentiments you get. I mean, it is loaded. Look at that. So much fun. That's another great product. So let's move along. Again, we have another standalone stamp set called In the Moment. This is such a good stamp set for mothers and daughters, um, aunts, um, cousins, um, sister. It is such a woman stamp set. You're in my thoughts. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. You're always so good to others. Be good to yourself too. And you've got a lady standing looking out over what I would like to think the ocean because I see the little birds. And she's wearing a sun hat and having a drink. Here uh, we have a lovely girl sitting in the window having a cup of coffee or hot chocolate or maybe tea. And then this one is my favorite. Snuggled up with your favorite socks, a cup of coffee, your best book, and look at that, your best friend, your puppy. So I, this, this stamp set really sent me, and I can't wait to delve in and really play with this one. These are nice large images. And I think it's just going to be a fun stamp to work with. Again, this one is your cling stamp, and it is $24 as well. So let's move on to our next one. All right, so now we have another large suite. This one is called Heart and Home. And again, we have um, two sets of... So we got the Honey Bee. Oh, I didn't pull those. Hang on, let me pull the... Flowers of Home. Mm. Flowers of Home. There we go. Now I have everything. This is a huge suite. Let's start out first with our, our stamps. We have the Honey Bee Home, which is absolutely stunning. Look at these flowers and look at the bumblebees. I think this is so cute. Love the font. It's kind of a scripty, fun, like you uh, wrote it in a hurry look. I love that. Again, cling stamps. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I've got work ahead of me because i got to put a lot of those stickers on. Um, it comes with the, these dies that are so pretty. You can... Um, you can actually cut out your bumblebees. So you have the three dies for those. You have dies for um, just and to add little sprigs of greenery in with it. You can cut out all of your little pieces and you even have some for your sentiments. Uh, and then you have some of these that you can cut, which, you know, I love to do foil or sparkly paper. I think that always adds to anything like that. So that's the honeybee dies or the bundle, the honeybee bundle. And then you have the flowers of high and blessings of home. Look at that stamp. Look at these. They are stunning. And I absolutely love the big the big stamp on this. Um, this is going to definitely be one of my favorites. I think it's so, so pretty. And you can do so much with this. You can do some background stamping with this. If you stamp off and then stamp on your paper. Uh, there are so many coloring this water stamp this on watercolor paper and color it with your um watercolor pencils 
stunning, stunning, stunning. And then you have your large die that will cut at that big piece out. You have all of your little pieces that you can cut and add to this. This is a set that when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. If you love flowers, you're gonna love this particular um, bundle. And then it also comes with the Hive 3D embossing folder. Love, love, love this. Um, it comes with the classic matte dots and you get them in white, off-white, and black. You get a roll of this denim ribbon and it is called denim three quarters of an three eighths of an inch um, and you get about 10 yards on here nice big roll of ribbon and then you get these doilies and they are in cinnamon cider and night of navy so so pretty i haven't opened this i'm not going to open it on camera but this is like a pack of ephemera it's called the Min the memories and more card pack but these are little pieces that you can cut you can actually use these for the front of a card beautiful you have some um pieces in here that are stickers so much fun i love a pack like that and then you have this pack that is the cards and more this has uh heart and home uh, memories and more cards and envelopes you get a set of note cards with the envelopes and you also get a set of regular cards and these are going to measure let's measure that so you will know these are going to measure six and a quarter by four and a quarter just a really pretty and you can decorate them and have them going in this direction or this direction whatever would be your fancy so that is just and you get the matching envelopes with those i love these these are so stinking cute and i love when i can get the cards and envelopes that will match and you can embellish so beautifully with these look at the dwellies i mean all of this will coordinate so perfect together i think this is going to be uh, a keeper because who doesn't love heart and home so that is another one so let me see what else we have i'm sure y'all think i've lost my mind every suite always has a paper pack and i totally totally forgot to show you this is the paper in the heart and home suite it is a um, 12 by 12 paper pack two sheets of each so you'll get two sheets of this design and then two sheets of this design. And like I said, you always have a neutral on the back. Very pretty paper. Look at that. <gasps> so pretty. And a wood grain there. So it's a lot of wood grains on the back of these. Beautiful soft flowers. I'm seeing the evening evergreen and the soft succulent with maybe a little bit of the pale papaya. No, the fresh freesia. Fresh freesia. Another wood grain and this green leaf with a, yet another wood grain you know you can do so much with the wood grains and they're always popular any time of the year from christmas to um fourth of july you can always use a wood and decorate the front of it so that's the um that's the pack of paper for that suite so let me grab the next one all right, this is my last um, two things to show you. These are standalone stamp sets. They don't come together in a bundle or anything like that. The More Love is just one cling stamp. But I loved this because I just thought that you could do so much with this. And I played with it just a tiny bit this morning. Not, not anything in depth, but I just took a piece of um, the white cardstock and I stamped in the memento uh, black tuxedo black ink the the entire stamp on this little note card and the note card is four and a quarter by six and a half scored at three and one fourth so I stamped that and then I colored my flowers and my leaves and before I colored I took my blending brush with um, mac macaron uh, ink and I just swirled my ink around like that and look how easy that was to make a beautiful note card you could make this in five minutes I mean no more than five minutes and of course we would need a sentiment on the inside and because I was dealing with alcohol 
ink markers. Probably if I do this again, I will stain, I will fold my card and then I will have a mat to fit on top of it. And I'll color that. That way you won't see the bleed through. But I still thought that was beautiful and I love the way it turned out. Uh, this one I haven't had a chance to stamp yet, but I can't wait. Um, I haven't even put my, yes, I did put the sticker on it. Oh, yay. I love this. I think this is such a cute stamp set to send to a friend. And I, I just can't, you know, we do go through chapters in our life. We have people that come into our life and people that go out of our life. And we have some people that stay um, for a very long time. And you have to enjoy every chapter that you experience in this thing called life. But I'm going to close out, out for now. I have kept y'all quite long enough. I hope you have enjoyed the quick tutorial, not maybe not so quick, on my haul. And I do have another haul coming, but this will definitely be after Christmas. This will be my last video until after Christmas because um, today is uh, Tuesday, no, I'm sorry. Today is Monday, uh, December the 20th. We have five days until Christmas Day where we can celebrate the beautiful and um, holy presence of our Savior that came to earth to die for us. So let's not lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas with all of the festivities and all of the work. Sometimes we can kind of get snowballed into this whole Christmas thing. But take the time to sit quietly. Maybe after everyone's gone to bed in the quiet of your home whether you have decorations up or not uh, we chose not to decorate this year for because we're not going to be here for Christmas but um, just take that time out and um, think about the true meaning of Christmas and what it meant to a dying world the beautiful and holy gift of Jesus Ah, oh, I'm in total amazement when I think about it. But remember what I always say in closing, honor Him. Give Him your all. He deserves it. He gave His all for us. You can't give any more than your life, and that's what He gave. So until we craft again, it will be after Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to all of you. I love you so much, and uh, Christmas cards are in the mail, so uh, if you're getting a card from me, you should be seeing it pretty soon. I love you. God bless. Merry Christmas, and until I see y'all after the holiday, um, the beautiful Christmas holiday, I'll be back home uh, probably the week after Christmas at some point, and I will be bringing y'all some of the products that you've seen uh, today in this video, and I can't wait. So God bless and keep you. Until we craft again, I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.